Hello artist, welcome to another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Irit. I'm an intuitive watercolor and mixed media artist based in Austria and Europe. And on my channel, I share all things art. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. In today's video, I'm going to share my recommendations for what to get when you're starting out with watercolors and want the best materials. So if you are beginning your way in watercolor or want to upgrade your materials to artist grade, keep on watching. To help you even more, I have created an in-depth comparison of the leading manufacturers of watercolor paint, and you can download that for free and start saving time and money right now. Go to the link below and get your guide, and of course, it's totally free. When I started my watercolor journey, I was delighted and also a little bit overwhelmed by all the options. I wanted to try everything. I thought certain supplies would make me a better artist, and I was so right. No, I wasn't right. I was wrong, and I spend way too much money and way too much time doing online research, watching hauls, watching reviews and then buying way too many paints. I don't want you to make the same mistake and at the end of this video I will give you the best and most important tip to fast track your watercolor journey and become a better artist. So make sure you watch till the end. The wonderful thing about watercolors, well one of the wonderful things, is that you only need paint, brushes and paper to get started. If you're starting out I recommend a 24 half pan set in a metal tin. Almost every major brand offers this option, it is easy to find, and the metal tins are versatile and can accommodate different brands if you wish to mix or add. If your budget is really tight, get a 12 set in a 24 tin and add as your budget allows and your taste develops. Let's move on to brushes. If you're just starting out, get a larger round and a flat brush and a smaller brush for details from a well-known brand like Princeton, Skoda. Start out with synthetic options. They are cheaper and since you don't know yet what you love to use, the last thing you want is to invest in an expensive Kolinsky sable brush only to later discover you enjoy a different size or shape. Now let's move on to paper. Start with paper swatches and try as many papers as possible. Student grade paper can really be the death of the joy of painting with watercolors. And so I would recommend if you're serious about your art journey to work with quality paper as much as your budget allows. I know what you mostly hear in, wa in the watercolor world is always use 100% cotton and that is mostly true, but there are also some great alternatives that are more affordable. It just takes time and trial to find them. Add some tissues or cotton rags, a large container of water, and you're all set to start. And now for the best tip you'll hear. If you follow this, you will save yourself so much time and money. Not only that, you'll become a better artist faster. It is something that is really easy for some people and then others, including myself, really struggle with this at the beginning. Here it is. Don't spend your time watching reviews and hauls. After watching this video and downloading a PDF, Settle on a couple of watercolor brands and focus on those. Cap it at two highly watched and rated videos and then make a decision. Develop a bias towards action, not passively watching others. Spend your time painting and learning. This is the best way to understand what you love and enjoy when it comes to supplies. Trust me on this. There isn't a secret supply that makes you a better artist. There is no one brand that is better than others. Different artists enjoy and recommend a specific brand 99% of the time because it fits their personal preferences, budget, location, and style, not because it is objectively superior to others. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in another one soon. Take care and have fun painting.